Metro Detroit senator wants to bring those film incentives back to Michigan. The state offered incentives for about five years. It was a few years ago, but the program was scrapped in 2015. The new proposal would offer filmmakers a tax credit versus a rebate. Critics say programs like this do little, if anything, to bolster the local economy. But as Priya Mann reports, proponents say we're losing young talent and losing out on our states and countries that offer competitive film incentives. We have Lake Trust next week, so. Oh, let's talk about Lake Trust. Dark Spark Media is a production company based in Ferndale. Since 1984, they've produced more than a thousand corporate videos and say business was booming around 2010 when Michigan still offered film incentives. Well, I think it was great when the incentives were here. We saw our community as artists and creative people coming together, working together um, to lend a hand to these other companies coming into shooting film. Local 4 is no stranger to Hollywood. You'll remember in 2016, Batman vs. Superman was shot in Detroit, and Neil deGrasse Tyson filmed the Must There Be a Superman scene right here in the Local 4 studio. When we're on location, we're spending money on hotels, you're spending money on rental cars, on restaurants to feed the crews. And I mean, you're talking crews of, you know, upwards of 100 people, which is you know, good, obviously good for, for the state. I've heard this argument many times and it's a tiresome one. What they're saying is, look at the asset side of our balance sheet, but ignore the liability side. That's not how the real world works. Michael Lefebvre is the senior director of fiscal policy for the Mackinac Center and says the state should not revisit film incentives. At its base, uh, it is robbing Peter to pay a bunch of filmmaking Pauls. Filmmakers argue Michigan is missing out by being one of only 10 states without a film incentive program. Back in the original incentive, it was around a 40% return on, on their investment in the film. So if you did a $20 million film, you're looking at $8 million. Uh, so the producers had $8 million extra dollars to spend on the production that came directly from the state of Michigan. Uh, it was very lucrative for them. Is it, that sustainable though? Probably not. I kind of always felt it was too bad they didn't adjust as opposed to cancel it. Michigan's previous film incentive program was so bad, we could have just put that money in our rainy day fund and generated a higher return on investment. The Michigan Film Industry Association disagrees. The, the universe is tired of filming in Georgia. They're tired of filming in Canada. Canada is one of our big competitors. Uh, there is no doubt it will be sold out. It, it seems silly to me to look at an industry and just say, no, we want to ignore that. It, it is an industry. People don't look at it as a business because it isn't a brick and mortar business, but it is a money business and there is money in it. In Ferndale, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. Interesting debate for mm -hmm. sure. The bill being spearheaded by State Senator Dana Polanke, whose district covers Western Wayne County. And she says if our motto is to make it make it in Michigan, it makes sense that it apply to the creative industry as well. Many people make good livings in other states working on film, TV and commercial productions. It's an exciting industry that can not only diversify our economy, but perhaps keep some of our young people in the state as well.